Hi there everyone. I'm going to do something a little bit different today. Uh, RC Nixter here by the way. Uh, I'm going to do a little, I guess, update video for you today. We're going to be talking about, uh, you know, a couple of things. Picked up a couple of rigs before Christmas. Just tell you a couple of little things that I'm doing with it. I'm doing some stuff with the SCX-10 Dingo as well. Uh, or just the SCX-10. A um, couple of upgrade ideas that I'm thinking about, plus some stuff that I've actually picked up uh, recently that I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, so before I get too, too far ahead of myself, uh, I want to thank um, FPV Vids and Animation. Um, check out their channel. Uh, Jack uh, is the guy, is the uh, gentleman who runs that channel, uh, and they're in Australia. Uh, he uh, he has some great vids, has uh, great trailing vids and bashing vids. Uh, I think you'll uh, you'll you'll really enjoy it. He's doing a series now with uh, Outback Jack. Um, if you haven't seen it yet, look it up hilarious. It's a great adventure that a one-tenth scale uh, action figure goes on. Definitely worth a look. I think you should do it. Uh, I entered into a contest that he was running and I won this speaker. As luck would have it, uh, I won. Awesome. And I know you're thinking, oh yeah, it's a, it's a uh, cool Bluetooth speaker. Metal case, you put an SD card in this thing, mini uh, micro SD card. Uh, you can forward, skip to your through your songs on the SD card. It'll do Bluetooth. It answers your phone. Great little speaker, Jack. I just wanted to say thank you very much. And guys, uh, anybody who hasn't checked out his channel, definitely worth a look. Uh, it also comes, of course, with a uh, with the charger and the. It'll plug into your phone or uh, an MP3 player as well, so you can play the music off it. Great little speaker. Uh, came with a note as well. Uh, I'll read it, of course. Uh, Hi, Nick. Congrats on winning the Bluetooth speaker. Enjoy, Jack. Thank you, Jack. I will enjoy that very much. Okay, uh, moving right along here. As I was saying before, I picked up a couple of rigs before Christmas. These were second hand, so basically the way you see them is the way I bought them. Uh, I have made some changes and I'll just let you know quickly as I'm kind of going through. I'm, I'm hoping that this is not going to be a half an hour long, so we're going to go real quick here. This is the front link off the Rancho right here. Um, this was the first one I believe that I bought uh, I bought these from separate people, so this this rancho I picked it up. Uh, of course, I ran into a rock while I was running it. It's winter time here, uh, so broke a link. Got one on order. Uh, I'm impatient. I had a few of these links kicking around. Uh, I don't know if you can see those or not, but they have the stainless ball ends in them. They're pretty beefy. They look pretty good. I think they may have come with the SCX-10. I'm not sure. Uh, I had a couple that had a bit of a turn on them. Bent up a piece of quarter inch aluminum and I think I'm pretty much ready to go again. Biggest thing to watch for when you're doing these I think is this center to center distance. You want to get that pretty much bang on or your tires aren't going to sit where they should as far as I can tell, I don't see any adjustment here. So, I think that's it for the Rancho right now. Uh, we all know what it is, I think. Uh, this is a SCX-10 frame. Might have been from the Hancho or the Dingo, whatever. I think they're the exact same frame. Uh, the plate from the Wraith. And we've got axles, links, and uh, drive shafts are all from the Wraith. The transmission is, as far as I can tell, is SCX-10. So this is a bit of a mishmash 
Anyway, so that there is the rancho, so you can see there now that I think that's going to work out okay. These screws need to be a little bit longer, that's the only reason that this isn't running right now. But I'm pretty happy with it. Um, doing some playing around with the shocks right now. I, I let the, um, I took the oil out, replaced them with inner sp springs. So now they have the internal springs and external springs. Not sure how much I'm going to like that. Um, I do have a video that I've tested this and uh, I find it's a little bit stiff. I'll let you know, uh, well let me know what you think, you'll see it in an upcoming video. Anyway, so that's what's going on with those. So that will change again I think because I'm not quite happy with that. So now I'm going to put away my rancho. The next one that I got was this one right here. This is the AX10. This is also an Axial. Uh, this is the AX10 Scorpion rock crawler. Uh, runs awesome. It's got the Novak 55 turn uh, motor on it. Uh, I think it runs really really smooth and nice. Um, originally when I got this uh, there there is a run out there right now in my video list where I didn't change anything and basically you saw this plate or you probably maybe never saw it but this plate sat on top here and the battery and everything sat on the top made it a little bit top heavy the, the shocks were very very stiff had all the spacers put in there and it was tightened right down so I removed this obviously and I made a an aluminum plate no rocket science here, just cut it away, bent it so that it came down and it cradles the transmission right here. Uh, and this is just a piece of uh, stainless uh, screen, uh, fairly tough, so that I'm not uh, rubbing up against my spur gear. Um, yeah, it also came with all these tires. Originally, it came with these ones on those rims so they're okay I find that this compound is a it's a stock tire uh, it's very rugged it's it'll last forever but I, I don't know if you're going to get what you want from this tire um, durability absolutely this tire will last forever um, but I wasn't real happy with it. Uh, he, the gentleman that I bought this rig off of preferred this tire. I mean to each his own, depending on where you're crawling to. This might work perfect in the situation where you're to. That's the way this goes. Uh, personally, uh, here is actually first, here's another tire that came with it. This, by the way, doesn't have a brand name on it. It, uh, you know, it's I guess what you'd call a no name tire again it's a stock tire uh, these ones here I believe are the rock stompers yes rock stompers uh, RC four-wheel drive they look like a real uh, real nice looking tire too uh, I like the look of those and the rims so I haven't tried these yet uh, they feel pretty good they're, uh, they're 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 rubbery they're rigid but you know, you can feel that, that that's a real grabber there. So I think it's going to be a good tire. I'll let you know how that goes. But what I decided to go with for myself here was the, these are the chisels. That's the Proline chisel. Um, they're a little bit used, but, uh, you know, they're nice. They got that nice soft feel to them. Lots of give to them. And that's the kind of tire I kind of like. Um, they work for me here. Uh, the rims look good. Um, they feel pretty good. This thing runs real well. I've loosened up on the shocks when I first got it. I think I mentioned that they were really jammed up there pretty high. So it feels much better now. Things are lower. Don't know what I'm going to do about a battery just yet. But, um, you know, I'm thinking maybe something something along that kind of lines. You know, maybe it doesn't have to be quite that 
that long because I'm going with a shorter two cell lipo. Um, I get the feeling I'm, that I'm talking really fast and I apologize for that. Uh, I'll just take a minute to say, you know, uh, if you got any questions on anything that I'm saying here or, or anything I'm going over, I'll, I'll answer them the best I can. I'm going to get up and check my camera now. Uh, again, any questions or anything that I, I'm going over, I want to go pretty quick here. Other than that, I'd like for this car, for this crawler, I would like to clean up all these links here. Um, it seems kind of weird that the, the way these links are set up a little bit. Uh, I'm not sure. Anyway, that's something that I will certainly... Uh, We'll certainly be checking into again. I want to clean all that up, repaint it, make it nice looking. Uh, the other thing I was doing with this one day, I was playing around with um, some of the bodies that I have here, and this here uh, I dropped it on, and right away to me, I'm gonna just tip that up there. That looked pretty damn good, like, I think I could make that work. Uh, I've got a couple of these bodies. This one's in a in a bit of rough shape. This, of course, is where the shock towers are in the rear uh, on the T4. Um, so I decided to make this one the guinea pig. So I aligned all this, and this is the way it's kind of coming out here. I think it's going to work. I may have to clear a little more off the wheel wells up front, but I think this body might work. So now, I think I could probably get this body pretty cheap, you know, on uh, eBay or uh, wherever, because these bodies are going nowhere near as much as the trailer bodies are going for, that's for sure. And I think that pretty much covers the crawler. Remember, questions in the comment box below. So I'm going to move right along here. Uh, next thing, there goes my phone. That will be the next thing for the crawler. When if I find that the Proline chisels aren't doing it for me, probably recognize this tire, of course, as the G-made. Um, what do you call those? The Big Horns. Yes, the Big Horns. Uh, these particular ones. Um, I may have mentioned it before, but uh, they came with plastic rings, plastic hubs, uh, plastic ring on the back side as well. Um, the rings cracked because of the screws, of course, right in these areas right here. So I replaced the rings on both sides and I added brass weight to the center of the hub. Hi guys, things look a little bit different here now. Sorry, I was just talking about the brass... Uh, brass weight in here and my uh, my camera battery died on me of course uh, what I was getting at was I uh, I made the brass inserts for these uh, as well I kept the the plastic hubs inside here for now because uh, right now these run just like my other uh, bead locks that I've got made they're right uh, they feel good for me, so I'm not going to do any more with those. So that's what's going to be the next plan for the uh, for the crawler. Um, now, uh, I'd like to move right along so that we're not taking up too, too much time to the dingo. Um, this is my SCX-10. Uh, this rig is pretty much stock. There's not very much extra upgraded on here. Uh, I've changed out a couple of things, but other than that, uh, exactly what you get in the box. It was a kit when I bought it. What I've done or what I've changed with it would be the shocks. These here are rear team associated uh, aluminum body shocks. They go on the uh, T4, the B4. I think they'll even fit the SC10 uh, uh, short course truck. So I've I traded out the plastic ones that it came with with these uh, blue anodized uh, aluminum ones. Um, 
the other thing was of course I made the aluminum rims so these um, uh, made these uh, at work uh, during my spare time uh, took a fair bit of time but I did get through them and once I added these rims I have to say really improved the drive of the truck uh, lowered the center of gravity quite a bit these um, the rings in here are aluminum as well as the uh, the hubs uh, so it does add a little bit of weight but it's it's the perfect combination right now of what I have um, but then you add you start adding more um, anybody who's been following along in my videos and uh, know that this is a bumper also that I made um, and I was very happy with this it, it looked good on the truck uh, there's a couple little issues with it. Uh, I was trying to get it done a little bit faster than I should and these little uh, these tubes here kinked on me. Now I know why they kinked. I didn't take the time to fill them with something or uh, but anyway that's fine. That'll get fixed. Uh, the plan is to clean these up, clean this up and then uh, paint it um, and it will go back on here eventually once I get this uh, this rig ready for it because once when I did put it on here that was that was the difference maker I think uh, that put it over that the limit of what I have so I went back to the the plastic uh, stock bumper um, but I will be getting back to that and in that regard with the upgrade I'm I'll lay this over here. I'm going to be changing out my plastic um, center drives with the MIP uh, spline CVD. So this is the one for the SCX10. Um, feels real nice. Uh, first time I'm going to be using these so if there's anybody out there who has any suggestions on uh, on anything that I should prepare in this regard uh, I don't think there's much to it seems pretty straightforward as far as the assembly goes it comes with everything uh, uh, in the bag here um, so that's that's one of the first things that I'm going to be doing uh, next will be replacing stock gearing in the transmission uh, eventually I'll be looking at getting a motor and a new ESC but we'll get into that later on down the road uh, while ordering these I did get a couple of extra little things I got this from Tower Hobbies by the way uh, great company no problem with their shipping they get you at the border let me tell you they get you at the border customs cost me about 30 bucks on these few items um, here was uh, oh yeah here's one thing that I did get and it's the the axial light bucket kit uh, it's the black set uh, the, what I like about this is the the different color lenses uh, comes with the amber lenses as well as the, uh, the, the clear or the translucent lenses um, it also has the fog lights buckets and lenses which is very cool uh, and all the clamps and everything that comes with it so for 15 bucks you know what that's not bad 15 or 20 bucks um, yeah so uh, that was something I got and I see that my battery is dying again. Looks like I'm going to have to invest soon. Uh, wheel wells. Uh, I thought this would look real cool on the dingle. So I'm going to be painting these up as well and putting those on. So as you can see, I've got so much stuff on the go here, guys. Uh, I would really appreciate uh, having you guys subscribe if you haven't already. And please, if you like the video, hit the like button uh, and uh, share. Just wanted to say uh, one more time, Jack from FPV Vids and Animation, uh, thank you very much again, bud. Uh, really going to appreciate that speaker. And everybody out there, give, uh, give FPV Vids and Animation a, a view. He, uh, he does a lot of this, like I mentioned before, the trailing and the bashing and the 
but this uh, this Outback Jack uh, series that he's got going on, I think uh, it's, it's something different. It sure is, and it, I think it's a bit of fun. So check it out. Anyway, guys, that's it for me. Have a great week, and we will uh, we'll talk to you again soon. Bye.